So today we're going to be opening a 2018 World Championship deck, uh, and this was Pedro Eugenio Torres' uh, deck for 2018. I really love that uh, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Company is doing this. Uh, I think these kind of things are cool. They've been doing it for a while now. Every year they'll release uh, four or so um, World Championship decks. Now they do have unique backs, so you can't use them in any legal tournaments. Um, but it allows you to play with uh, the kinds of decks that people are, are doing really well with um, and kind of see, see what that's like. Um, I also really like that it comes with these really cool pins. So I grabbed this one just because out of all of the decks this year, uh, I thought the Rayquaza um, one would be the most interesting. He's one of my favorite Pokemon out of the ones that, that headlined the decks this year. Now it does have, of course, the full deck list on the back. You could make your own with the legal version of the cards if you wanted to. Um, and so there won't be any surprises here, uh, but I figured I'd open it anyway just so uh, everyone can kind of see, see what these look like. So let's get into this. Put that aside, of course. First of all, we've got uh, this little booklet that it comes with that kind of uh, tells the story of uh, the Nashville tournament. Uh, it shows the final brackets. Everyone who, who won, it has the juniors, senior, master, um, and all those kind of things. It goes through, it has a bunch of pictures from the tournament, swag bags, um, lists out different uh, play players, you know, the champion, the second place, the decks that they used. Um, so, so this is pretty cool, especially if you're into the competitive scene at all. It's kind of a nice uh, historical look back at the year. Um, I don't really follow it too closely, but I do like to watch um, like a few of the, the final games online. Um, and so you'll see this is the deck that we got. This was the fourth place in the Masters. Oops. So this is kind of a neat little booklet, especially if you're you're into the uh, competitive Pokemon TCG scene at all. So I'll put that aside and we'll move on to the actual card contents. If I can get this out, there we go. First, I actually just want to take a look at this pin. I think this is a really cool pin. Very, very unique. I've got a lot of Pokemon pins, but honestly, this might be one of my new favorites. It has like a vinyl record in the background with Pikachu dressed up in, dressed up in Nashville, you know, country chic playing the banjo, the Nashville and uh, marquee down there. That's, this is really cool. So I'll just set this over here. And then let's take a, a look at the uh, headliner cards. Of course, this one's gonna be the Rayquaza GX, the main card in the deck. Now I'll take a note, moment to notice uh, they do all have his signature on the card and then on the back it will have uh, a World Championships uh, back. So one of the other headliner cards is this uh, Tapu Lele GX. Then here's the deck box with uh, a lot of the deck inside and then the rest of the deck over here. Well, that sounds like that's the mail. All right, I got the mail and my dog calmed down, so now we can go through the rest of these. Lily, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, another Rayquaza GX, four in fact, total in the deck. A 
Now, especially with a lot of these uh, competitive decks, you'll see mostly people uh, having a lot of repeat cards because you basically want to uh, shrink the size of your deck effectively, making sure that you end up with the best cards that you have that work the best with your strategy. Of course, if you play competitively at all, um, you already knew that, so I'm just preaching to the choir a little bit. So I'll put those over here, and then I'm going to put these uh, headliner cards with them, and then I will pull out the rest of the cards. There we go. So that's the whole deck. Um, and then the main reason actually that I bought this, other than this adorable pin, is this uh, redemption card. So in the Pokemon TCG online, you can redeem these decks now. They started including uh, a code so that you can actually use this deck online and play with it online. Because I don't get many opportunities to actually really play in person and so this allows me to try out some really competitive decks um, online which is always a blast to see what different players decks are like a lot of the time in the past i've taken these uh, world championship decks and then rebuilt them online um, but that can be really difficult to try to find all the right cards in pokemon tcgo especially can't uh, because you can't just buy them outright uh, so this is this is a really cool and unique opportunity, and I think you should give it a shot if you can find one of these decks. They're they're not generally too hard to find. They're generally about uh, ten to fifteen dollars depending on where you buy them. So give it a shot, I'd say.